All right, so this will be part one of this build series. What I have in front of me is a 92-325. I picked it up for cheap because it had a blunt head gasket and the get rag that was in it was toast. So I've got a new get rag here. And back here in the corner, I've got an old but good M50. So the goal for today is to get this in the car. We've got some stuff to do. This came out of an E34, so I need to put this E36 pan on it. And that's an E34 harness, so I need to get that E36 harness on there. Uh, do some resealing, oil filter housing, rear main seal, so on and so forth. Uh, we're working out of the wagon today. Needs a new bumper. But I've got tools, tools, box full of parts, fresh FCP order, lots of seals. So yeah, let's get to work. So the goal for this build is to have a car that's both daily drivable with full interior and AC, but also something that you can take to a drift event and have some fun with. The part of the reason I chose this car is it already had some useful parts in it, such as a limited slip differential, some decent suspension, and some cool stuff too like glass headlights, an OEM wing, and sport seats. Well, other than replacing worn out parts, the main modifications that I'm going to do are reinforcing the rear subframe, installing M3 front top hats with offset lower control arm bushings, that'll give us some better caster and camber, installing an upgraded clutch kit, tie rod spacers for a little bit more angle, and then polyurethane bushings wherever I get a chance. So I've got to install this bracket that goes under the main cap to support the new pickup tube which I'd rather not unbolt this, but I don't really have a choice. I checked on the parts engine over there and those main caps started to take more torque at about 50 foot pounds. So that's what we'll torque them back to because the spec on these is an angle measurement, which I can't really do right now, but it should be all right. So let's do it. We can look at it while we're in here. Wow, that's in great shape. Unbelievable. This engine has 270,000 miles on it. That's crazy. That's freaking crazy.
all right, I had an idea with engine mounts. So if you're buying new engine mounts, your options are the factory oil-filled ones or about $150 for some polyurethane mounts. And that's a great choice, but that's a little too expensive for this project. So what I have here is an E34 solid rubber mount. This one costs about 10 bucks. The stud offset is about the same. And I measured, this one is about 3 16th shorter, but it still has more height than say a blown out mount because you'd be sitting down on that second shelf there. The main difference is the alignment pins are 180 out. So that's what we have to deal with. But if we come up here and look at our subframe, this for this forward hole is what the factory mount utilizes and they give you a nice little hole over there that our mount fits into. And it's not quite 180 out, but I measured and it gets you pretty damn close. So the distance between the studs is maybe about a 16th closer, but pretty much identical. And it'll kick the engine back about an eighth of an inch because it's just clocked back ever so slightly. If you wanted it to be a perfect fit, we could drill a new hole 180 out just behind this one or grind off our alignment stud and just hand clock it. But I really don't think an eighth of an inch back is a big deal. If anything, that's a tiny win for weight distribution, but the big win is $20 for solid mounts. Stud on. <laughs> I got that motor mount in the wrong spot. Oops. All right, here it is. Mission accomplished. Engine is in the car and sitting on E34 mounts. No problems there. Lined up perfect, and we still have plenty of room in the back. Pretty much factory location quick overview of what we did switched oil pans and pickups new oil filter housing gasket new rear main seal and gasket and had to switch engine mounts I guess that's pretty much it still a lot to do but this will conclude part one stay tuned for more action I gotta clean up and go to bed it is past my bedtime all right see you